Hi, I'm Darren Coleman. I'm the author of Building Brand Experiences, a Practical Guide to Retaining Brand Relevance. When it comes to measuring brand experience performance, I always advise clients to remember three things. First, look at big picture and touch point metrics. Big picture metrics break into three areas, financial metrics, employee metrics, and brand metrics. Touch point metrics really take a deep dive into specific touch points. So for example, this could be check-in for an airline, when you're waiting to board the flight, when you're served your first drink, and even when you're picking up your bags. The second thing that we always recommend when it comes to measuring brand experience performance is to take a holistic approach. This entails obtaining employee, brand, and financial metrics. The reason being, there's an extensive body of research that outlines how employee metrics drive brand metrics, and both employee and brand metrics drive financial metrics. So it's really about understanding cause and effect. The third and final point that I would make to all clients when it comes to measuring brand experience performance is don't just focus on financial metrics. I absolutely understand that money talks in the boardroom, but the challenge with financial metrics is their short term and the historical. You wouldn't drive a car looking in the rear view mirror, but regrettably most organisations look at financial metrics and they are all historical, so it's akin to doing the same thing. However, if you obtain employee and brand metrics, the real power and value lies in them being almost like a crystal ball. If brand and employee metrics are starting to fall, then you have time, you have a window of opportunity where you can do something to try and improve those employee or brand metrics before that translates into the next sale.